It's the beginning of a march that will take some of these protesters from Paris all the way to Brussels. When they arrive in 10 days, demonstrators will bring a demand to the European Council, an end to what they call Israel's genocide of Gaza's Palestinians. Since the war on Gaza began more than 100 days ago, regular protests have been held in European cities. This was Madrid on Saturday, tens of thousands on the Spanish capital's streets. Israel kills, Europe sponsors it, chant these marches. Where is the humanity? We are in 2024 and we are accepting what is happening in Palestine. What is happening to the world? We, the Palestinian people, are persistent in our fight against colonialism and against the Israeli occupation and against the continuing Israeli aggression against our people. In the UK, small demonstrations took place around the country with a larger one in Birmingham. From the stage, former opposition leader Jeremy Corbyn voiced a belief held by many supporters of Palestine that Western governments are ignoring the war crimes happening as the world watches. The British government's view in all this has been, one, that they will not call for a ceasefire. They either support the United States and its veto at the UN, or they say nothing. And they won't answer questions about the reality of either the destruction of life in Gaza or the advice they've received from their own officials of what is going on. In the Italian city of Vicenza, a pro-Palestinian demonstration turned violent. Police used water cannon and batons on marches. The protesters threw flares and fireworks at police. Another weekend of popular international anger as the Gaza war grinds on. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.